Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Have you been to check out the website lately? We've a link to the new website that I mentioned a few days ago. Over time I'm hoping to draw all my internet ministries into one location. So please be sure to check that link on the homepage out. Just switch up to 8. That's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask as I read your word, it feels so new to me. And so I ask as people hear your word, they come to my understanding of you. Amen. He always said to Joshua, Don't be afraid, and don't be dismayed. Take all the warriors with you, and arise, go up to Ai. See, I have given your hand the king of Ai, or his people, his city, and his land. You shall do to Ai and a king, as you did to Jericho and her king, except you shall take its goods and its livestock for yourselves. Set an ambush for the city behind it. So Joshua rode with all the warriors to go to Ai. Joshua chose 30,000 men, the mighty men of valour, and sent them out by night, and commanded them, saying, Listen, you shall lie in ambush against the city, behind the city. Don't go very far from the city, but all of you be ready. I and all the people who are with me will oppose to the city. It shall happen when they come out against us, as at the first, that we will flee before them. They will come out after us, until we have drawn them away from the city. For they will say, they flee before us, like the first time, so we will flee before them. And you shall rise up from the ambush, and take possession of the city. For Yahweh your God will deliver it into your hand. It shall be, when you have seized the city, that you shall set the city on fire. You shall do this according to Yahweh's word, for I have commanded you. Joshua sent them out, and they went up to set the ambush, a state between Bethel and Ai, on the west side of Ai, while Joshua stayed among the people that night. Joshua rose up early in the morning, mustered the people and went up, he and the elders of Israel, before the people to Ai. All the people, even the men of war who were with him, went up and came there, and came before the city, and encamped on the north side of Ai. Now there was a valley between them and Ai. He took about 5,000 men and set them in ambush between Bethel and I on the west side of the city. So they set the people, even all the army who was on the north of the city, and their ambush on the west of the city. And Joshua went that night into the middle of the valley. When the king of I saw it, they hurried and rose up early. And the men of the city went out against Israel to battle, he and all his people, at the time appointed before the Arabah. We didn't know that there was an ambush against them beyond the city. Joshua and all Israel made as if they were beaten before them, and fled by the wilderness. All the people who were in the city were called together to pursue after them. They pursued Joshua, and were drawn away from the city. There was not a man left in Ai or Bethel who didn't go out after Israel. They left the city open, and pursued Israel. <coughs> Yahweh said to Joshua, Stretch out the javelin that is in your hand toward Ai, for I will give it into your hand. Joshua stretched out the javelin that was in his hand toward the city. The ambush arose quickly out of their place. Adi ran as soon as he had stretched out his hand, and entered into the city and took it. They hurried and set the city on fire. When the men of Ai looked behind them, they saw, and they saw, the smoke of the city ascended up to heaven, and they had no power to flee this way or that way. The people who fled to the wilderness turned back on the pursuers. When Joshua and all Israel saw that the ambush had taken the city, and that the smoke of the city ascended, then they turned again, and killed the men of Ai. The others came out of the city against them, so they were in the middle of Israel, some on this side and some on that side. They struck them, so that they let none of them remain or escape. They captured the king of Ai alive, and brought him to Joshua. When Israel had finished killing all the inhabitants of Ai in the field, in the wilderness, in which they pursued them, and they had all fallen by the edge of the sword, until they were consumed, all Israel turned to Ai, and struck it with the edge of the sword. All that fell that day, both of men and women, were twelve thousand, even all the men of Ai, for Joshua didn't draw back his hand, with which he stretched out the javelin, until he had utterly destroyed all the inhabitants of Ai. It all took for themselves only the livestock and the goods of that city, according to Yahweh's word, which he had commanded Joshua. So Joshua burned Ai, and made it a heap forever, even a desolation to this day. He hung the king of Ai on a tree until the evening. At sundown, Joshua commanded, and he took his body down from the tree, and threw it at the entrance of the gates of the city, 
There is a great heap of stones on it that remains to this day. Then Joshua built an altar to Yahweh, the God of Israel, on Mount Ebal. As Moses, the servant of Yahweh, commanded the children of Israel, as it is written in the book of the Law of Moses, an altar of uncut stones, on which no one had lifted up any iron. They offered burnt offerings on it to Yahweh, and sacrificed peace offerings. He wrote down the stones a copy of Moses' law, which he wrote in the presence of the children of Israel. All Israel, their elders and officers, and their judges, stood on both sides of the ark, before the priests of the Levites, who carried the ark of Yahweh's covenant, the foreigner as well as the native, offered them in front of Mount Gezizim, and offered them in front of Mount Ebal, as Moses the servant of Yahweh commanded at the first, that he should bless the people of Israel. Afterward he read all the words of the law, the blessing and the curse, according to what is written in the book of the law. There was not a word of all that Moses commanded, which Joshua didn't read before all the assembly of Israel, with the women, the little ones, and the foreigners who were among them.